can love somebody and still fuck another bitch. Because I've been in love yeah. and fuck another nigga. And yeah. it's like, I don't love that nigga. I love you, nigga. Yeah. But then fuck another bitch that don't mean nothing. But when a girl fuck another nigga, she like him. She like seeking to yeah. potentially be with that other nigga. If the girl step out on her man, she has to be like emotionally like no. not even no. feeling him no more. No? I, I, I ain't a, got no feelings. I'm a hoe. I don't, I don't got <laughs> no feelings. I, 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 so you telling me you can be in love with a man and go get some outside and that's why come right I, back home like yep that's yes. why i can understand a man mm. i'm being real like i've done it i yeah. literally another nigga and been like ew like i, I was so bad like yeah. I didn't, this <laughs> wasn't even worth it yeah <laughs> i went home like baby i love you so much You're like what was Are i you doing hungry? let me cook for you like i felt so <laughs> bad but i'm saying y'all be the same girls y'all got but then if we be like having a side piece, y'all get mad at us. Who get mad? One of my niggas is married. Do what you do. Because <laughs> I'm going to do what I do. So you don't get jealous? I don't know about you, but I'm going to turn up jealous away. What if you like him a little bit? I do. I love him, actually. You don't get jealous when he go Absolutely home to his wife? Not. Absolutely not, baby. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be waking him up like, baby, it's 3 o'clock. As gotta long go, as he cutting that check. Baby, go home. Don't get in trouble now. Not because of me. He's going to fuck other bitches regardless. They don't give a fuck accepted that fact i think it's an understanding you just gotta have that understanding with them everybody's different that's not for every man check this out these chicks are confusing love with settling you know they're just confusing love with settling you get what i'm saying because if she value you if she fuck with you like that and she respect you like that she really care for you like that but she got to value. She got to know your worth. She got to know what type of man you are in order for her to care for you. Then she wouldn't even do you like this. Fellas, this ain't all women and all women. I'm going to speak to you women. Listen to me. This isn't all y'all. No, I'm not the type to just throw that shit on you all. This is all women. I don't do that shit. Not at all. However, you can admit you admit to Uncle KC, man. You can admit to the big dog. And if you don't respect that man, if you don't value that man, then it's a possibility you can't treat him like this, right? Okay. I'm going to make this intro short because I got to get over here to this gym. I got a couple people waiting on me. And uh, the bag and shit together. Listen, a couple people waiting on me. And uh, y'all already know how to get at me. If you're new to the channel, Please subscribe. My Patreon link is there. Go join that Patreon just as well. Go get on that Patreon. Yeah. My video for education purposes only. Fair use only. Please like, share, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So you can be alerted on all these videos when they come out. Y'all hear what they and they're talking about? What they discussing on the round table panel or... A little interview or whatever they got going on, a little podcast. I don't know what podcast it is. I'm not here to disrespect him. He ain't. He's answering questions. I mean, he's asking questions and, you know, doing what he do with a journalist, podcast, or whatever they do, do. So my thing is this. I'm going to speak to you fellas real quick, then we're going to jump to the women. Fellas, you must understand and remember, if a woman respects you, if she value you down to the, I mean, if she detail you all the way out and value you, we ain't even talking about your looks, your money, your height, your hair, your whatever, you know, whatever, clothes or whatever. She got to value you, your mind frame and where that mind frame comes from. And once she value you and where that mind frame come from and know who you are, she know there's a worth behind you. Like I say, not worth within the financial department or within your status and how you look. The worth in you knowing, I mean, of her knowing that she got a real ass man. A real man. And we don't use a real, we don't use, oh, uh, I'm a real motherfucker. We don't use that shit loosely over here. We use that shit set in stone like brick and mortar. You dig? That shit standing. A real ass man is hard to come by. And women, y'all know it is. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, it's hard to come by. So you think that the woman, these kind of women right here on this panel, one of them are women that think like them. It ain't really got to be them, but you get 
Wow, you, you give me, you follow. Do you think that a woman will want to lose a real ass man? Someone that will uplift them? Someone that's masculine? Someone that's protective? Someone that provides not only with what he can do for her, but provide her with the mind frame, the brain stems, the education, the wherewithal, to know that she's better than who she are and uplifted her into a successful realm, just as well as he, you know, just as well as he is. And he know that she got his back and she know that he got her back, you know, 100%. She ain't going to want to lose that. Fuck no. Nah. She ain't going to want to step. I don't give a fuck. She ain't going to want to step out on that. And this could be the same woman who ran simps. This could be the same woman who, who, who did a motherfucking dude who did multiple dudes in. You know, and we was all, and you know, let's keep it real. We all men, right? We all have been at one point looked down on by some woman in our lifetime, you know, in our lifespan, and we didn't even know, you know, that we could be looked down on by this person. And in some cases, we know that we're being looked down on by this person. Either we with them or we fucking with them on the side or whatever. And they can kind of look down on you and, oh, I think I'm better than him. I, t I think I can do better than him, I t you know. But I'm just sticking with him because he, he's what I got now. He's the ops. He's one of my best options now because the rest of these dudes, I'm running across his shit. But until I run across some motherfucking dude, I'm going to stick with that situation. You know, being in a relationship, a lot of guys have experienced it and they ain't even know it. And then you look up, your woman cheating on you. She's jumping ship. She's going to go fuck with another guy. When you thinking, oh, man, what the fuck? What's going on? When all along it's been planned, it's been plotted and strategized. She's been having this lined up. This CRS. She already had this lined up before she knew that she could get rid of you. Because she got to have your replacement. This is what it is. She be bored alone. They ain't like us. We men, man. You know, we get dumped off shit. We ain't got nobody lined up. We ain't got nobody replaced because we, you know, some of us put our all into them. And once you put your all into them, you give up seeking, um, you know, some kind of social life. You know, being around friends and women or going out to certain events, just being social. Give up all that, you know, and transition yourself all over for her. And you got to remember, she ain't gave up none of that. Because she wasn't sure on you or she seen something in you. She like, I can't stick with it, but he's what I got now. So I'm going to step out on me and do my thing. And, you know, until I, until it fizzle out or fade away or whatever it go. And it, it's like that. It be like that. And that's what it is. You must understand that. Now the women like her talking about how she go out, fuck other guys, all these motherfuckers ain't shit. I shouldn't have never did this, baby. Please, I come back. I cook. I clean. I do all this type of shit. Only a weak motherfucker will allow that because a weak motherfucker wants to be cooked for. He wants his house clean. He wants you to show some kind of submissiveness in order to um, gain his respect. You come back to me, you got to come back bearing gifts. I want some money. Real game. Real talk. That ain't going to happen, right? Some kind, In some cases it do, but in a lot of cases it's not going to really happen. So that means you must keep going. Because you're not meeting my requirements. You broke old Martha. You went against the grain, you know, and you said, fuck me, right? Now you're coming back to me. It was fuck me, and that was cool. I wasn't, I didn't bitch about it. I didn't complain. I kept moving in life. Now you're coming back to me. You must come back bearing gifts. And I'm not talking about no motherfucking Xbox game and the, and the motherfucking, uh, you know, the chess boards and the beats by the Dre and all. I don't want none of that shit. I want the chips in my motherfucking hand with some dip. Yachts. Real game. Real talk. Real spit. This case, he's where, you know, it's, it's where it is with me. I ain't easy move like that. You can't just come back and that's what it is. You know? Only motherfuckers, you know, I may have a little disagreement with and come back and it's my daughter. She apologized. We, we end up talking it out. I apologize. You know, if I'm wrong. Or whatever, it's my baby, it's my child. But a bitch? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> you 
you got your motherfucking mind, man. See this handsomeness right here? You think I'm going to kneel the grass old Tyson and kneel down to your motherfucking ass? Fuck no. It's real game right here, man. Check this out. She simply don't respect the dude she's with. When we talking about the chick in the video, she simply don't respect the dude she's with. That's not love. You confusing love with settling. You settle with this guy. That's why it was easy for you to tiptoe around on him and do your thing and come back and say you love me. It's an easy thing because you settle for that. Your all isn't into that. But if it was a motherfucker that you really liked and you really value, you really fucking admired, your all would be into that. You gonna watch who you you gonna watch what you do before you do it because you don't want to lose him. Especially if he's a motherfucker that don't give a fuck and he will walk away and we replace your ass just like that. What Gucci say? Next 15 minutes, like the Metro, another one coming. You know what I mean? Real talk. Pull right up. She know that about you. She know she ain't got to see that. Women know that about your aura. Your energy explains all that. They know what fucking kind of dude you are. They know you ain't the one to be walked over and played with. And that's what they like. Real talk. It's only two things with it. They don't just not like it. No, that's that's bullshit. That's, you got to erase that. Get that out the equation. That ain't even it. It's only two things with it. Or they going to always like it. They either going to like it and get down with it. Or like it but be intimidated by it. And step back and know their position, know their place. And watch it from a distance. And lust over it. Ooh, hit the like button. I am game. <laughs> you dig? So, fellas, if you find yourself in a position like this, don't think that it's love because she came back to you. Don't think that she went running the streets and came right back to you that she loved you, she cared for you, she wants to be down for you, she's submitting for you. No, 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 no. She has to show you. You come back here, you got to come back with some money. Come back and pay your way. Invest into me. Bitch, go taste your motherfucking investments. Invest into me. Build that up. Then it'd be good. A lot of them ain't going to do that, though. Because they know you know what's up. You know you know you ain't, you ain't no pushover. No, I fucked up. I made this mistake. But I can't go back to him. He ain't no pushover. He ain't that kind of dude. Fuck! Damn. Now I got to go off into this fucking jungle and anything goes. We know how it go in the jungle, right? Walk your ass out. You know what, motherfucker? Get up and walk your ass out there in the jungle. By yourself. No spears, no guns, no weaponry. Nothing. Just go out there. You tell me how they go. <laughs> it's going to go right. This is life, man. You know, and it ain't no disrespect to the women. Fuck no, not at all. So I'm speaking to you women. You know who to do this to and you know who not to do this to. You know who to respect and you know not to respect. It's that energy and aura. Yeah, I know that. That's, how, that's a part of your defense system. You can go in the motherfucking pockets. I tell people this. If a woman can go in your pockets and Debo you and strong on you like Debo do and give me all your shit. Motherfucker, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And you better do it. And you do it. And they got men on a grip hold like that. They wouldn't really have to play mind games and manipulate you. But since they can't do that because they are women, they're less physical than us, you know, through the creation of God. That's just the life and that's just the creation of God. That's no being biased and gendered by no, 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 no. That's just creation of God. That's just that's just what he bought here. You know, that's blame that shit on God, man. That's the transformation he bought here within the human cycle, you know, within the human being cycle. You know, women are less physical than men. So since they're less physical, what do they do? They manipulate you. They play your motherfucking mind games. They go in your pockets. They do, you know, they get you They get you mentally. But you got to give it to them. You don't knock them for that. Not at all. That's a part of them. That's their DNA. You know, you just got to have the game. You got to have the charismatic force within yourself to know and love yourself. And when you know and love yourself, it starts with you. You won't allow anything to go on. I promise you. Just apply it to your life. They come over and holler at me and tell me how I go, man. I, I, I talk back. It's KC the Red Pill Alpha. Y'all already know what it is. And go join that Patreon and get right back at me, man. Get right back at you.